Hector, can you come home early today? My stomach's been in knots all morning and I just got the test result back from the hospital. I really need you here. Uh, I probably can't. Like I told you, things at work have been crazy lately. Did you forget already? I know work's been a whirlwind for you for a while now. But this is important, Hector. Maybe even the most important thing we'll face together. I got the test results from the hospital today. I wanted to talk to you about them. Oh, weren't you saying something about not feeling well? How was it? You weren't feeling too well, were you? How did the test go? Don't beat around the bush, Selena. Just tell me straight. The doctor said... Um... They said I have cancer. What? Cancer? You're kidding, right? Like a Sagittarius kind of cancer, right? Just messing with me, aren't you? I'm not. So I'm sorry, but it's not funny. Wait, wait a minute. Are you serious? You're not pulling my leg. But you seemed fine. You always watch your health way more than I do. You were exercising more than me lately. Watching what you ate, this can't be right. They must have made a mistake, right? Wait, but this is totally curable, right? I don't know, Hector. The doctor wasn't sure yet. That's why they need to do more tests next week and why I have to be admitted. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry I messed around before. I just... I never thought it could be something so serious. It's okay. It doesn't even feel real to me either, but I'm really in shock. Yeah, I bet. Well, listen, don't worry about a thing. You just focus on getting better and eat whatever you want, whatever you want to do, and just take it easy today. These tests next week will tell us more, right? It might not be as bad as we think, I bet. You don't really know the details until you get admitted to the hospital and run some more tests, right? The doctor wasn't very optimistic, Hector. There's a lot of information, and I wanted to go through it all with you. That's why I messaged you. Selena, I am so sorry. If I wasn't swamped at work, I'd be there in a heartbeat. But this project is a monster, and I have deadlines up the wazoo. I'm just really busy this time. I know, you've been busy for months, Hector. Six months, to be exact. I know, but trust me, this is for all, for us. Once I wrap up this project, things will calm down and I'll have more time. We can finally take that vacation we've been talking about. So, you're not even going to come visit me when I'm hospitalized? Of course I'll go, but wait, for how long is that going to be? For now, about a week. A week? Whoa, hold on a second, where did that come from? A week? Anyway, it's okay. I'll probably be able to visit once. I'm actually really worried. It said it doesn't feel real. But to tell you the truth, I just don't want to think about it. So I don't really want to be alone today or even until I get admitted. You know, but sorry, but I have work. You know this promotion I've been working towards. This project is the key to getting it. And if I don't see it through now, I might lose this chance altogether. Think about it. This promotion means better benefits, better security for both of us. I'm doing this for us, Selena. I'm really sorry I have to leave you alone at a time like this, but I hope you can just hang in there just a little longer. I'll be there after work settles down. I wish I could be there. Fine, got it. Sorry, I, I asked for too much. Well, anyone can get lonely when they're sick. I understand how you feel. Then I really want you to come home just for today. Please, Hector, I don't know how I'm supposed to face this alone. Okay, I, I can't today, but I'll come tomorrow. I'll finish up work right on time. Really? Really, I would come home right now if I could. Okay, then tomorrow I want you to hear what I have to say. Okay, go to bed. Don't think about it too much. It'll be fine. You'll get better when you start treatment at the hospital. Alright, I'm going back to work. Hector, you didn't come to visit me in the hospital after all? I had a bit of a situation at work. A last minute snag with a client. They needed me there, you understand, right? Right, of course. Work always comes first, doesn't it? You promised you'd be there, Hector. 
Even after finding out I had cancer, not once did you come home early just to see me. Now I know how you truly feel. All those promises, all those sweet nothings, right? You don't care at all, even if I get sick. You are always just all talk. Don't say that, Selena. That's not fair. We talked that morning you were admitted, didn't we? I tried to clear my schedule to make some time. Yes, for like a second. You rushed through the conversation and brushed off my illness like a bothersome fly. It felt like you couldn't wait to get back to whatever pressing matters awaited you at the office. That's not true. It's just, I, I don't know anything about cancer, Selena. I wouldn't know what to say or how to help. Maybe if I've known what to do, I would have stayed. I don't need advice, Hector. I just needed you to listen and be there for me when the world felt like it was crumbling around me. Instead, I was left alone in that room. Sorry, Selena. I, I just, I'm just not strong enough. I didn't know how to handle everything that was happening. Enough about you, Hector. I got the results of the additional test and my treatment plan today. How was it? Did they find anything new? Maybe a different treatment option. The doctor, he said I have six months left to live. Six months? No way. You're joking, right? This can't be real. I wish I were joking, Hector. But the truth is staring me right in the face. Six months. That's all the time we have left. But there has to be something else they can do. Another test, a specialist, anything. We can't just accept this. We have to fight. They've done what they can, Hector. Unless a miracle happens. No, this can't be happening. You're going to leave me behind? I don't want to believe it. Neither do I, Hector. And on top of everything, I have to be admitted back into the hospital right away. Right away? But I... Hector, I'm scared. More scared than I've ever been in my entire life. You don't need to do anything grand. Just be here with me. That's all I ask. Let's face whatever comes next together. Sorry, I I'm just not mentally prepared yet. I don't know how I can face you. The weight of everything that's happened, all those missed visits, those broken promises, it feels like a ton of bricks are in my chest. You don't need to do anything special. I just want you to be by my side. Honestly, grand gestures wouldn't change anything. All I crave right now is the comfort of your presence. Okay, I'll come home early for a while, starting today. I'll be by your side until you're admitted. Aren't you busy with work? Work, the very thing that kept you away when I needed you the most? I can't even think about work if you tell me if you have six months left. Oh, thank you. Of course, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Just name it, and we'll do it. Paris? The beach trip we always talked about? Okay, then I guess you can come help me organize some things? What do you mean, organize? There would be a lot of things left once I'm gone from this house. And I don't think you'll be able to do it all by yourself. So I think I should organize everything little by little, make things a little easier on you. Already? You're going to continue treatment, right? I'm going to continue. But you never know what's going to happen. Shouldn't you be doing something more fun, though? I don't feel like going out anywhere. I think I just want to live a normal life. Okay, I said I would do anything. I'll do whatever you say. So, when's your next admission? In a week again. So, until then... Hey Katie, sorry I haven't seen you all week. My wife is finally hospitalized. The doctors finally figured out what's wrong. But the news, well, it hasn't been easy, lol. Katie? Hector, are you alright? Oh, my bad. I, I promised to call you Katie Pie. It just slipped out. But hey, there's some good news in all of this mess. What good news could there possibly be, Hector? With everything going on, I realize how much precious time we've wasted. How much happiness we could have had together if things had been different. That's why I was thinking. What are you thinking? Well, with Selena only having six months left, we could finally be together, openly. Think about it, Katie Pie. LOL. We could use the insurance payout to finally get that house by the beach we always talked about. Dreams really do come true, don't they? We're meant to be together, you and I. LOL. Excuse me? This is your mother. 
What are you talking about, Katie Pie? Katie Pie, right? Oh my god, I, I, I'm so sorry, Mom. Huge mistake. What kind of mistake, Hector? Don't you recognize the name of the woman who raised you? What? But this says Katie Pie, right? No, sorry, Mom. Uh, looks like I made a mistake. Forget what just happened. A misunderstanding? How can I forget what just happened? Do you have any idea what you just said to your own mother? Um, it was a mistake. A bad joke. Don't worry about it. Of course I'm going to worry about it. Are you having an affair, Hector? Is that what this Katie Pie is all about? No, Katie Pie is just that thing. That thing, uh, a bot for an AI account in WhatsApp. What? You know, when you send message in WhatsApp and a bot automatically sends you a message back, you probably aren't familiar with it. Don't play dumb with me, Hector. Even I know what a smartphone is and how WhatsApp works. You weren't sending messages to a bot, were you? And let's be clear, there's no marrying an AI, Hector. And what was that nonsense about the insurance money being good news? Selena's health is not a game. And neither is our family. You better get yourself together, Hector, before you lose everything that truly matters. Calm down, Mom. It's not that big of a deal. Do you think I can calm down in this situation? I heard from Selena about you not even visiting her once in the hospital. But that you were having an affair? I'm so embarrassed and ashamed as your mother. What kind of son treats his wife like that? Especially when she's sick. It's not like that. I haven't been getting along with Selena. You probably don't know this, but she's a real workaholic and doesn't do any housework. We're supposed to be sharing the housework since we both work full time, but it's always me doing it after a long day at the office. I was really tired of working and doing all the chores by myself. I felt like I was living with another roommate, not a wife. Huh? Really? You never mentioned this before. Really? Doesn't it pain you to see your own son in such an unfortunate marriage? It's been painful for me. It feels like all the romance has just been drained out. Oh, really? And starting an affair is supposed to bring the romance back? Can't you understand why I would want some comfort? This girl Katie I'm seeing right now is a breath of fresh air. She's young, cute, and always makes me delicious home-cooked meals. It's the kind of attention I haven't had in years. I think you'll really like her if you meet her. She's a real housewife type of girl. Knows how to take good care of a man. A woman who would be in a relationship with a married man? You think I would like her? What kind of woman is that? Don't say it like that. It was unfortunate that we met when I was married. Things just happened a little out of order. We just, we just connected. Even so, an affair is an affair. There's no excuse for it. It's an affair of true love. We have a real spark, Mom. Something I haven't felt with Selena in years. Oh, don't call that true love. Do you have any idea how much Selena has done for you? Selena was the one who stuck by you through thick and thin. She was the one who made you a decent man. Even after we gave up on you, after all your gambling debts, you were able to quit thanks to Selena, who was there to support you when you were job hopping from one place to another. The fact that you're doing so well right now is all thanks to Selena. You wouldn't even be in this comfortable position if it weren't for her. It might be because of her, but she only has six months left to live. And don't you want to see your grandchildren? So will you keep your mouth shut about this? Don't say anything unnecessary to Selena. This could all be over soon, and then we could finally be together, Katie Pie. I mean, Mom. You're going to hide this? Even though you send this ridiculous message about marrying some Katie Pie and using the insurance money to you of all people? utterly insensitive and selfish can you be? It was a misdirect and stupid joke. The name of the account changed without me knowing, some kind of glitch. Look, I know it's bad, but you can't tell a person who's been given only six months left to live that I'm having an affair. It's bad enough the only support she has is me. Can you really do that to her mom? Think about all these years we spent building a life together. Sorry to say, but Selena is looking at this WhatsApp too with tears streaming down her face. You want to talk about insensitive? You disgust me, Hector. What? No, there must be some kind of mistake. This can't be happening. I'm with her in the hospital room. You're finished, Hector. You've lost everything.
Selena, there's something I need to tell you. A compensation order came in the mail today. It was delivered to both our house and, well, let's just say another address. Oh, it came? I'm glad, Katie Pie. Or should I say, whoever it is, was able to confirm their receipt. Must be nice to have someone looking after your interests. Hey, don't say that name. It's over with her, okay? Is it now? <laughs> Funny how things change when consequences come knocking on the door. Make sure you pay by the deadline if there's no problem with the amount, Hector. Of course there's a problem. 22 grand? Are they serious? There's no way I can afford that. Then talk to my lawyer. They'll be happy to discuss a payment plan with you. Look, Selena, I, I, I broke up with her. After my mom, well, after everything that happened, I thought long and hard about things. I realized what a shallow person I was and what a horrible thing I had, had done to you. So I want to try and start over with you, even if you don't have a lot of time left. I want to be there for you, to support you. Even if we did start over, Hector, that wouldn't change anything about the compensation. You're still going to pay for your actions. What? But I want to be with you until the end and do whatever you want. I just thought, well, I thought I could use that money to make some good memories with you. Otherwise, I would have to go in debt just to pay it off. Then please, go into debt, Hector. Go into crippling debt for all I care. It won't bring back the trust you shattered or the love you so carelessly discarded. You can spend the rest of your days paying for your mistakes. A constant reminder of how badly you treated the woman who loved you. Do you really want to hurt me that badly, Selena? I've really learned my lesson. I'm prepared to support you until the end. To be by your side no matter what. I'll do my best to make up for all the pain that I've caused, even if it takes the rest of my life. You keep saying, until the end, Hector. But the truth is, I'm planning on living a whole lot longer than six months. You, on the other hand, are just an inconvenience now. What? But... But weren't you only given six months left to live? I felt so helpless knowing our time together was limited. I, I panicked and I made terrible decisions. Oh, that was a lie? A very calculated one, I might add. This was the worst case scenario, the path things could have gone down if I didn't take drastic measures. Thankfully, my operation was a success, and now I'm on the mend. Of course, I still have to be hospitalized for a little while longer to run some tests, but the future is looking much brighter. You tricked me? You played on my emotions like some kind of twisted game? Having cancer was the truth, Hector. There was no lie there. But the six-month prognosis? That was entirely up to me. <laughs> But lying having six months left, I was really worried, Selena. Why would you lie about something like that? Because I knew you were having an affair, Hector. The same week I found out I had cancer, the same week I was facing the possibility of a shortened life, I also discovered betrayal in the form of your little Katie Pie. Here I was, scared and facing mortality, and you were prioritizing some mistress over your own wife? So, I made a decision. I wanted to see how you would react one last time. I really wanted to trust you as my husband, to believe that you would stand by me through thick and thin. Then, would have the outcome have been different if I had chosen you over my mistress? Maybe there was still a chance for us, a chance to rebuild the trust I so carelessly shattered. I'm not sure, Hector. There's a part of me that wonders if we could have come back from this. But the truth is, even if I had been healthy, I would probably still be struggling with the betrayal. On the other hand, I do have to admit a strange sort of satisfaction in seeing your remorse. It's a far cry from the man who was so quick to discard me for a younger model. Selena, I'm begging you, please reconsider the divorce. I know I messed up terribly, but I've truly learned my lesson. I've broken things off with my mistress completely, Give me another chance, please. How dare you even say that, Hector? Here I was, facing my own mortality, and all you saw were dollar signs. Happy thoughts of me being gone and the insurance money lining your pockets. No, no, no. That's not what all this was about. At the time, I was just, I was just in a bad place. Confused, selfish, 
only thinking about myself and this woman, this Katie Pie. But I finally woke up, Selena. I realized what a fool I was throwing away for fleeting infatuation. You're my wife, the woman I love. It's too late for apologies, Hector. Too late for second chances. Besides, there's something else you should know. What else could there possibly be? You're still in touch with your mistress, aren't you? Don't think for a second that I haven't noticed. What? No, that's not true. I told you. We broke up. It's over. Oh, really? Then perhaps you can explain how I know otherwise. Remember how I went home unexpectedly one day before the latest hospitalization? Huh? I took your laptop with me when I left, the one that synced with your WhatsApp. And while you were out cavorting with your little Katie Pie, I took the liberty of reading all of your recent texts. What? Invading my privacy? Oh, let me spell it out for you, Hector. Didn't you tell her that you'd act like the perfect husband until I die? That way you could avoid that pesky alimony and keep rolling in the dough from the insurance payout. Seems like you haven't learned your lesson at all. No, that's not how it was at all. Those were just idle thoughts, a terrible joke. Don't tell me that the person who changed the name on my mom's account on my phone to Katie was... Yep, that's right, Hector. You should have known better than to leave incriminating evidence lying around. Guess mom wasn't the only one who got a surprise text that day. This is unbelievable. My family cut me off because of you. My mom and dad told me never to come back home again. They told me they were going to cut all ties with me. How could you do this to me, Selena? You reap what you sow, Hector. This never would have happened if you hadn't had an affair in the first place. And now you have the audacity to play the victim? But that's an invasion of privacy. You can't just go snooping through my messages. I'll sue you. Go right ahead, Hector. Waste your time and money on a frivolous lawsuit. I'm getting compensation from you and your mistress anyway. If you want to fight, let's fight. But don't think for a second that I'll back down. Hey, Selena, I don't want to waste time fighting like this. We can work through this. I feel bad about having an affair, but it can't be helped if I fell in love with someone else, right? Isn't love uncontrollable? Love uncontrollable? Then you should have broken up with me before something happened. You didn't have to sneak around behind my back, leading a double life. You had a choice, Hector, and you chose betrayal. I couldn't tell you because I cared about you. I didn't want to hurt you. <laughs> if you could only have half-baked feelings towards your mistress, you shouldn't even be in a relationship. You just didn't want to face the consequences, the financial burden. You wasted my time, Hector, and who knows, maybe even your mistress's life. I think you're the worst kind of person. Selfish, deceitful, and a coward. Selena, please forgive me. I'll really become a good husband this time. I'll break up with Katie for real. We can start over. You're just going to act like it, right? A perfect husband facade until everything settles down, then file for divorce when you think I won't see it coming? There's no trust left, no foundation to rebuild on. Please believe me. I'm not hiding anything else. I'll even show you all my messages from now on. I won't have an affair. I've had enough of it. You better stop making a mockery of me, Hector. All you can do is offer empty apologies and selfish justifications. I used to think your optimism and playful spirit were your most charming qualities. Now all I see is a man-child incapable of commitment and reveling in the misery he's caused. Do you think I'd ever consider being with someone who not only cheats on their spouse, but takes pleasure in witnessing their heartbreak? You're truly delusional. I am really sorry, Selena. It was my first affair, all right? Please give me another chance to prove myself. Your first affair? Spare me the crocodile tears, Hector. This isn't some high school drama where apologies and promises fix everything. I'm divorcing you because I refuse to live a life filled with suspicion and heartbreak. But I won't do it again. I swear on everything. This whole thing has been a wake-up call. I realize now what a treasure I almost threw away. Too late, Hector. It is done now. 
Live your life however you want, but don't expect me to be a part of it anymore. Selena, you have to forgive me. I know I messed up, but please don't throw away everything we have. We can make it work, I promise. I'll say this a thousand times over, Hector, and it won't change a thing. The answer is no. Weren't you and this Katie Pie the perfect match? Two peas in a pod. I can't get remarried. My mistress, this Katie woman, is demanding compensation too. I don't have that kind of money floating around. And to be honest, I was already getting tired of her constant demands. And we are not making it work, Hector. We're getting divorced, so leave me alone. It shouldn't be that difficult. Just walk out that door and do what you've always done. Follow the past of least resistance. Dump your wife, chase after fleeting pleasures, and live your life being a total loser. Because that's all you've ever known to do. I divorced my husband and got paid alimony. Of course, my husband objected to the divorce until the end, but because of the fact that he had an affair, his opinion was not accepted. Also, my husband was hounded by my in-laws who declared they would not lift a finger for him anymore. Before we got married, my husband was addicted to gambling and was in debt. The one who helped him get out of that debt was me, the person he married. My husband was cut off from my in-laws at the time and got his life back on track after marrying me. He never got sloppy or gambled like he used to, and he was able to have a relationship with his parents again. However, after this incident, my in-laws have cut all ties with him also because they felt pity for me. My in-laws gave me a condo they owned. They said they would rather give it to me than my husband when they pass. I felt bad, but I didn't have any place to live, so I happily accepted. By the way, my husband and his mistress got in a huge fight about the compensation, and I heard they ended up separating. My husband became deep in debt from paying alimony and is still trying to pay it off alone. You reap what you sow, so I don't feel bad at all. And I don't ever plan on forgiving him. I hope he lives a lonely life, never getting out of debt. I finished my treatment and now I go to the hospital just for checkups. A lot of things happened and it was very stressful. But I'm glad everything turned out okay. Although I feel like a lot of time was wasted, I think of it as a life lesson well learned. From now on, I want to create relationships with people that help each other, not just help themselves. But first, I want to live life to its fullest, to heal my own heart. And I want to make many more days full of laughter.